Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm your host Tyrano Senpai. Welcome to a another episode of Moe Ninja Girls. Whew. Hold on. Just let me catch my breath. I'm excited. It's been about it's been a hot minute since I last covered this. Really hot minute. <sighs> anyway, don't really recall what happened last time. I think at this point we've rescued Mew from uh from the assassins and all that. So, that said, let's get started with chapter... Uh, I don't remember. What? Ah, uh, chapter 6, which means we, after this, we only got 7, 8, 9, 10, and then the ending. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> Bargaining point. Today's lessons are over. Now it's just time for the Ninja Seeking Club. Raijin. Hmm? What's up? Going to the club? That's what I was planning. What about Akari and Enju? Let me turn the volume down just in case. Yeah, that should be fine now. They went on ahead with Yamabuki. I don't know what they're up to, but do you want to go together? Okay. She nods in it, and I accompany Rika towards the Ninja Seeking Club. And the guys from yesterday? They're still tied up. One or two days should do the trick. It's not like anybody will be finding them for a while. I see. It all depends on whether the assassin that we let go comes back or not. We have hostages. He seemed quite weak-willed. So he should be coming back. What's more worrisome is what kind of message will come back from the village. Well, there's no point in thinking too hard. Let's go to the club room already, Vika. I already thought danger still wouldn't be too far behind. What are you trying to say? I should go back to the village and accept my punishment. This again? I said no. Yeah, we. I thought we cleared up this whole thing last time. I guess not. But, okay. That would put Mew in danger. I got my trusty cheat sheet ready for me. If you do that, then Mew will be in danger. She saw what the assassins looked like. Even if you go back to take your punishment, then we still seek out Mew, a witness to wipe her out. You got it? Even if you go back there, nothing good will come of it. They'll just send more assassins and the cycle will start all over again. This is why we're ne negotiating with the village. You understand now? But, no buts. If you have any objections, then spit them out now. Okay. Great. So let's speak no more about it. Although Rika looks like she still has something to say, I ignore her. I know that she feels responsible for you, but I mustn't let her sacrifice herself. If she did that, everyone else would be so sad. Let's just go back to the club room. Everyone's waiting for us. Okay. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, I got a new phone because the last one I had, well, <laughs> it got wet while I was working. So, I just got a replacement. Yay! <clears throat> anyway, hey. You're late. Get your butt in gear, Raijin. Don't keep the ladies waiting. And what would you know? Whew. All right, moving on. It was you guys that went on ahead. That was fine with me, though. The others are already gathered in the room. Hello, Raju Senpai, Mika Senpai. As Mew draw closer, I put a finger to my lips. What the heck? Get off. Ah! One moment. There, that's all sorted now. I guess she wants to talk about yesterday, but here is the time or place for that. What's this? What are you guys talking about? It's nothing, just a secret. Rather than that, what did Yamabuki want? Hehe, <laughs> thanks for asking, Johnny. Oh yeah, ta-da! Suddenly, Johnny spreads his arms out wide and brings him down to the desk. On the desk lie several items of clothing that I've never seen before. Um, Yamabuki, what's all this? Lucky you! You're, they're finally ready. Our uniforms. Uniforms. Aren't we wearing those right now? No, not these. Our Ninja Seeking Club uniforms. In other words, our costumes. They're ninja outfits. What? With a better look, I suppose they do kind of like look like ninja clothes. But isn't this a little too flashy? Yeah, it's cosplay. We gotta look the part. Cosplay again? What's with this girl? Well, I will say this. At least it's not some shitty maid outfit for guys. I'm sure she talked about it before, but to actually go and make real uniforms? <laughs> With this, we're getting more and more like Ninja Seeking Club. Hold on, the Ninja Seeking Club looks for ninjas, right? 
We aren't ninjas ourselves, right? We'll find ninjas by becoming like ninjas. See, if we act like ninjas, then I'm sure we'll come across some real ones someday. Yeah, they'll be on like, are you ninjas too? And come by to say hi. I don't think so, somehow. Well, I guess it's a good thing that the club is traveling in at least some direction. Until now, I didn't know what kind of club we were even supposed to be. So from today, we'll be wearing these uniforms and doing ninja stuff. If that's what the manager says, then I guess there's nothing... <laughs> okay, I didn't finish that. By the way, where's Enju? She went ahead too, right? Ah, she's over there. Ninja outfit for eight people. How much is that? Wait. We can use the club need to... Enju's frown as she taps away on the calendar on her desk. Oh, calculator! Excuse me. Yeah, why would you look at numbers on a calendar? That's stupid. Beach. She's almost like our exec, uh, our exclusive accountant. Thanks, Andrew. I can, I can read. I can speak English. I can make sentences. I promise. Um, how much did the material cost and the measurements? Oh yeah, I borrowed cloth and other stuff from the sewing club. What? Then I'll check with them how much we borrowed and the cost of the borrowed material too. <sighs> okay, moving on now. You know, Suo san, if you're going to make something, you should tell us beforehand. Well, I got a sudden burst of inspiration. We have to pay for things like this for our club money. Do you have. Do you know how little funds we have? She sounds like an angry old housewife. Yeah, Suz. And it was kind of hard to make clothes for eight, so I had the stolen club help me out with that too. Oh, awesome negotiation, Yamabuki. I'm going to ask the sewing club about a few things later. And to apologize. Good idea, Enju. Not at all. I have to at least do it this much. No, Enju, don't worry about it. You should reflect on your actions, Suo-san. Uh, I have to go to the sewing club. Hey, wait up! Akari follows Enju out as she gets up. Since we got these costumes made especially, it's... Such a waste not to use them. What, you want me to change them right now? Oh yeah, they should fit on the bust, waist, and hip. And I'm, But I'm not sure about the finer parts. Um, why do you know our sizes? Well, just by looking, and also by touching. Wait, what? She's been touching these? Okay. So stop it. Yambabuki goes for Andrew and starts groping all away at her huge chest. I'm sure that if a guy did that, he would be in shackles by now. Did the dog just stand there and look? Stop her! Oh, sorry. Hey, I'm Wookie. Leave it there. I'm satisfied now, anyway. Why do I feel a threat to my innocence from someone of the same gender? But with what I just caught a handful of, I'm not sure that the clothes are gonna fit. How did they get bigger in such a short time? Seriously, even bigger? What a scary girl. I can't believe we're talking about this. Can you change the subject now? If we're going to get changed, let's hurry up and get changed. Yay, so this is mine? Oh my, how sexy. I have one too? Well, okay. Haha! <laughs> Rika and Mew look speechless. Well, they're both actual ninjas, so I can sympathize. So, huh? What's that? How long do you two plan to stand there? What, don't you have clothes for us too? Oh, wait, I get it now. I got it. I don't know what's happening. Alright, okay. We're about to get changed. Do you understand what that means? Um, oh. Boys need to leave right now. What? No! Andrew throws her costumes at us and thrusts us out the room. It's not like I wanted to look at them or anything. I was just hoping for a little, you know, teeny peek at them. Sure you were. Of course you were. I have full confidence that that's all you wanted. So I guess it goes like this. We ended up changing in the hall. It's not like anyone is passing, though, through, and we're just guys anyway. These ninja clothes, I know it's just cosplay, but honestly, I thought that I would never wear them again. Ooh, Johnny's actually looking kind of stylish in that. I like it. Hey, Raijin, how do I look? Yeah, it looks fine. Dang, what a cool response. Stroke my ego more, damn it. Just why, why do you expect me to have such a huge reaction to male cosplay? Just do it for me, one more try. Yeah, it looks good on you. Yep, you look very rare. Oh, so I'm a rare character? Yeah, a very rare character. A premium character, even. 
I'm just spitting random praises at him. But since Johnny is so happy, I'll go along with him. Yeah, well, it's pretty rare to see a foreign blonde haired ninja. So, I wasn't exactly lying when I said he looked rare. <laughs> now I'm a ninja. Nin nin. You don't blend in well at all, though. You stick out like a sore thumb. I don't really care about that, though. I have no interest in his ninja clothes whatsoever. The girls, on the other hand, I only caught a glimpse, but those clothes look pretty extreme. I wonder if they're still changing. I heard girls take a long time, but they should almost be ready now. Rajin, Johnny, we're ready. Hey, Rajin, Akari's hollering us. Sounds like it. In this moment, mine and Johnny's feelings became one. We really wanted to see some girl cosplay. You called? You already called them over? Oh, wait a second. Hey, are you sure it's okay now? Yes, come in. Wait, it's so embarrassing. Prepare yourself, Rika. There's no going back now. The voices from inside are arguing, but I already have permission. I turned to Johnny and we both nodded at each other. <laughs> okay, let's open the door. Way! And with that, we opened the door to paradise. I feel like that was a choice once upon a time. Onward to paradise! What kind of choice is that? Alright, now we've arrived at the checkpoint and I know what's coming. I know what's coming. <sighs> Pink Shikigami? Okay, well... I'll take it. Yes, I will. Okay. Go! And let's continue. And there it is. Hey, hey. Don't, don't look. Sorry, but when you look like that, avert your eyes. <laughs> nice. Is this the ironic ninja technique? Rika waits with her butt in the air facing us. Not only is the skirt nice and short, but I'm pretty sure that I can see her panties peeking through. Is this a reward for something? A treat? So stop looking. Rika was embarrassed and tried to hide, but she tripped over Akari's foot. Thanks for the commentary, I see. I saw Rika in ninja clothes for the first time I met her, but these clothes might actually be a little too extreme. I see the costume suits you, though. Stop, there's no need to throw things at me. I get it, though. You're as shy as everyone here. What do you mean by that? Well, you should have hit it before throwing things, see? You just knocked Johnny out. It takes a while to calm Rika down after that. Yeah, so I imagine it would. I don't think I got a sense of that. There's no panty shots or anything. So I think this should be fine. Hmm, looks like we need to make some small adjustments. I think you're right. It's quite tight around my chest. What, those jugs? Did they get even bigger? Ah! <laughs> stop it! Come on now, there are guys present. Stop this. If you have to retake measurements, then do it quickly. We need to keep records on every cloud activity, so report to me. Okay, you're so strict, Enju. Are you guys okay with their costumes? I'm fine. <laughs> A perfect fit for me, too. Ugh, so boring. I was hoping to see some boys getting naked. If we're gonna change, we'll we do it outside. That's fine. I would still peek. Oh, so you want to check out my six pack that I gained from my abdominal roller rat strain? You nerd girls can be prosecuted for sexual harassment too, right? And why are you going along with it, Johnny? As I get tired of being the straight man, Andrew just taps me on the shoulder. I know exactly how you feel. Thanks. In this room, there are six idiots, and only two of us can think straight. Doesn't this proportion seem weird? Okay, those of us that didn't get the perfect fit, we're each going to take measurements for our own costumes. You all at least know your size is right. Okay. Hey, Andrew, are you going to re-sew our costumes? How much does sewing... How does sewing work, though? We've all done it in home economics, right? As the excited chatter continues, the girls get to work taking measurements. Ah, uh, nothing to do. Well, since we fit okay, then we're not going to blame us for doing nothing. Us guys are bored to tears, so what should we do? Since we have the time, maybe we should check on the others. Okay, um, 
What's the next one? How's it looking, Mew? How's the ninja clothes looking, Mew? Huh? Uh, well, if you don't like them, you don't have to wear them. It's not that. I was just a little surprised. Uh, I'm fine. These clothes are a little embarrassing, but since everyone's wearing similar clothes, I feel like one of the group. I'm happy. I get it. And so on the inside, Raijin looks forward to Mew Mew's cosplay. Rabbit, no teasing. We are trying to have a nice conversation here. Yeah. Yamabuki, you are just huge. Boo. I can't find the words to tell you to say how disturbing you are. It's embarrassing, really. It's it's degrading. All right, two more parts to go. Well, three actually. Right, let's go inside, Johnny. Why's that? How down? Because if we're here, how do you expect them to change? Sorry, guys. I'm a gentleman. Unlike you, I don't throw clothes at people and you. Sorry about that. I was getting agitated. But don't take it on us. Okay, let's go, Johnny. Okay, looking forward to seeing those costumes again, ladies. Of course he is. Uh, um, what's with the groaning? I was bursting from the washroom the whole time. Why didn't you just go? Obviously because I wanted to check out the ninja costumes. I think the measurements will take a while, so you should go now. Okay, uh, hold it back, flatter. Johnny races off. I wonder how long he had been holding it. Jeez. Raijin? Yeah? As I look back, I see Rika was silent, has silently snuck out into the hall. What's up, Rika? Have they finished taking measurements? Not yet. I have to talk to you. Oh, what is it? I really want to stay here at the school. In the new seating club. I'd like to stay here for as long as you'll have me. So, I don't want to go back to the village. Okay. It looks like Rika has finally settled on her decision to be a Ronin Ninja, which means we're going to have to settle this with the village. It's just that, and... What just happened? Whoa! An arrow flies past Rika's eyes. Is it another from another assassin come after Rika? Uh, a letter? Looks like it. It's for you. Read it out. Okay. She nods and reads the letter that was attached to the arrow. What does it say? Okay, this is mysterious. This isn't ominous at all. This, during a long silence, Rika's eyes pour over the letter. Hey, what's written? Rajin, do you understand what this means? I look at the letter that Rika hands me. Let's see. Oh my god, I thought I would get out of here. Go. Let's see. For Rika to leave the village, they have one condition. They want the Kamui or the Beast Seal Scroll as a substitute. Rajin, the Beast Scroll is, yeah, it's a scroll that Mew is searching for. So why does our village want it? And instead of the Kamui, do the scroll and the blade have the same value of them? What are they planning? I don't know, but this is favorable for us. We don't have to give up the Kamui for them to let Rika go. I was thinking of handing the Kamui over to Rika, but I think Rika would feel too heavy as a responsibility to refuse. But if we could just get our hands on the scroll, that we can solve the problem without losing anyone or anything. I feel more motivated now. How about you, Rika? As long as we give them the scroll, they'll forgive you. The Beast Seal Scroll. Yeah, we don't have to sacrifice me or you or anyone. We can finish this business up without anyone getting hurt. But Mew's looking for the same thing, which means... Yeah, whatever the case, there is only one scroll. But there are two people after it. Neither Rika nor Mew will want to fight over it for it. But, well, let's decide what to do about that later. We've not actually found it yet. We decided after we find it. Exactly, let's talk about that once we find it. Rika, we finished the measurements. We're going to change together again now. Hey, you're being summoned. Go. Yeah. With a nod, Rika enters the room. Phew! So close, I thought my bladder was going to go boom! And in Rika's place comes John. Okay, Dragon. Let's go back to the room. Are you stupid? If we go in now, you hentai! Ah! <sighs> oh! Okay. Ta-da! It's a little tight. Now boys love tight clothes, don't they? I guess that's a, that. You're right. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Wow, beautiful. Hehe. <laughs> My choices are always perfect. Six Konichi girl, ni girl ninjas are lined up in the ninja seeking club room. Each one wears a different expression on her face. Ah. Uh -uh. 
All right, what does it what does it say? Mew that looks tight. I don't want to say where, but definitely around the chest. You, you notice? Oh, lately I've been eating a lot of sweets. I should go on a diet. No, it's not your waist. Well, it doesn't matter. It looks really good on you, Mew. Especially that bit that makes your boobs stick out. Really? Thank you. <laughs> it's cool. It's nice. Just where are you looking, pervert? In any case, it looks like the Ninja Seeking Club activities are about to become a lot more authentic looking. Rika and Mew both look like they are enjoying fitting into the club. I really want to keep this feeling going. Which means that what I have to do first is... Cliffhanger! Let's find out what happens next time. Time for the preview. This time brought to you by me, Akari, and by Mew. Wow, you're very cheerful today. I think we can present a great preview. Yes, I'll do my best. Great, then let's get this show on the road. It looks like Rika has finally set her heart on becoming a Ronin Ninja. I don't want to be away from Rika Senpai's side. Me neither, so I'm glad that she decided to leave the village. But it looks like a new problem might arise. What is this beast seal scroll? That's my... No, it's nothing. Hmm, well, I'd like to know, but I'm not allowed to ask, right? But it's just like I said to Raijin. It's important to keep things as close to normal life as possible. I'll do my best to create some place that everyone will always want to come back to. Like I said, by you're always so cheerful and bright. You're so cool. <laughs> Thanks. Well, it's been one thing after another. So now you have three. Ha so now you three have this new problem. What's your next step going to be? Whatever happens, we have to find the scroll. Such great spirit. There's nothing I can do to help, but I wish you luck. Thank you. I'm trying my hardest. Great. So next episode, season two, chapter seven, is mission school at night. What? What's the matter? Oh, uh, no fair. I want to check on school night, too. Uh, maybe some other time? I wonder if there will be another time. Anyway, please look forward to the next chapter. <sighs> and there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another episode has come, and another episode has gone. Hope you enjoyed today's content. Um, if you, if you did, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification button so you don't miss anything new. And until next time, this is Tyranno Senpai signing off. Alrighty then. Take care now. Bye bye then. <laughs>